Hello YouTube friends and welcome to my channel. In this video I would like to show you the unboxing and first look of a new uh, Fox Edge knife that I recently uh, purchased. So for those of you who don't know, uh, Fox Edge is a, uh, let's say, a budget oriented brand under uh, the, the Fox Cutlery. They have, uh, uh, they have uh, these knives put on the market to um, give you best possible performance at a reasonable pricing. So let me open the box. This is the model called uh, Atrex in OD green uh, micarta. So I forgot to mention that Inside the package is also a piece of paper, which is warranty, of course. And currently, as I see it, uh, Fox Cutlery has around three tiers of products. This is the Fox Edge, which is uh, uh, which is the uh, probably the budget, the most budget oriented. Then you have also Black Fox, which is also budget oriented. Uh, brand and then you have uh, the normal high-end uh, Fox uh, cutlery uh, which uh, they have products for uh, a couple of hundred dollars and so on okay so let's talk about this knife the model number is uh, FE-027 MOD the design is once again by Denis Sinamuti he also uh, designed a couple of uh, previous models that I have featured here on my channel. I will be featuring them at the uh, later part of this video. So if you like to know more of these designs, then uh, stay tuned. Okay, let me give you the specifications really quickly. We have an overlength length of 17.4 centimeters, that is 6.8 inches. And the blade length is 7 centimeters or 2.7 inches. Blade width is 2.9 centimeters, 1.14 inches. The thickness of the blade is 3 mm or 0 0.12 inches. The handle is 10.5 cm or 4.1 uh, inch long with the thickness of 1.2 cm or 0 0.5 inches without the pocket clip. Materials used on this one we have fairly standard uh, situation. HCR 13 MOV with a satin flat uh, ground sheep's foot blade. And for the handle uh, we have uh, just a standard uh, canvas uh, type micarta with nested steel liners that are not skeletonized and a partial uh, G10 orange uh, backspacer. So regarding the micarta, there is nothing um, special at this price point, of course, uh, you would uh, you will be seeing this on the most uh, 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 budget-oriented uh, knives at the current uh, state of the market. So I uh, like uh, on on um, CVV Elemento and so on. But I will compare uh, the knife uh, to these knives in the later part of this video. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so. Uh, let's talk about the action. So it arrives on caged uh, ball bearings. So really nice and smooth you have to a little bit uh, preload on the, the flipper tab because it has not that uh, strong uh, of a detent there is also exposed part here maybe you could open it like that yes as a front flipper but i probably do not recommend that just to be safe you can also open it uh, via the hole therefore has uh, probably the detent been dialed uh, to a softer side, uh, softer uh, level. The centering is perfect. The pocket clip, I don't know why they didn't go with a uh, deep carry pocket clip. They certainly could do that without any problems. Um, like it is, you have just a standard uh, sandblasted uh, folded uh, clip with a, I would say, uh, strong action. 
so I don't know if these are heat treated or not but uh, definitely you will have to insert a more force to, to bend these if you don't like the tension that uh, the pocket clip is producing on the, the scales. Okay, the weight comes at 89.5 grams or 3.1 ounce. These are made by Fox Cutlery Italy, but I strongly, uh, strongly advise not to take this information as, uh, as a valid. It was only stated on the site where I purchased the knife and for, uh, like I mentioned, this is a budget-oriented uh, sub-brand of Fox Cutlery. Now, uh, let's talk about the pricing. So, uh, this was uh, 23 euros. Uh, I would probably suggest uh, these uh, will go under $50 in the US. I don't know what kind of taxes and import fees are included when they are uh, imported in. But uh, I, would, um, I would say that these are uh, made in China. As you can see, there is the model number and the steel with the maker's mark. Uh, there is nowhere marked uh, made in China on the blade. I could not found it. Maybe it's somewhere underneath, so who knows. But uh, yes, let's face it, uh, for around $25, uh, 25 uh, dollars, which translates to that. 23 uh, uh, euros uh, this is a budget oriented knife with a great value and price uh, but definitely uh, would not cost that less if it was uh, made in uh, Italy not to be said that is not quality wise but Italians are uh, famous for the day the crown their edges and everything and this is just uh, probably a laser cut so it is really sharp on the top not that there is an edge, but uh, I would say these are made in China and for some probably marketing reasons uh, they put uh, made in Italy or uh, by the company, so who knows. Okay, now uh, let's talk a little bit about the variations. Uh, so currently you can get yourself uh, your hand on, on a green aluminum version a with a black uh, coated blade and a... And a uh, uh, and this green micarta version i did uh, search a little bit and uh, uh, there was a version that is called uh, defcon 5 atrex i don't know if it was the the first production run or what's going on but uh, those were around uh, 49.99 in the us and um, were uh, offered with uh, black washed blade and and the green uh, or black G10 so they had a little bit of uh, milling uh, graphic on the scales but so this is the the newest version that I offer let's see the, the sharpness out of the box so it is it is sharp but definitely it could use as you can see there it could use some stropping so yes uh, a little bit maintenance uh, has to be done to be uh, hair splitting sharp one thing that i uh, certainly uh, would like to have on on this uh, knife or maybe an offer of a different variant if is with that black uh, uh, black wash blade as currently they are not available only with this setting so this will probably rust on you keep in mind 8 uh, CR 13 movie is not stainless so use caution with that okay let's see the pocket profile really quickly so it will go with a little bit force into the pocket so keep in mind if you are using some uh, thin fabric um, trouser or slacks it could be a little bit problematic to push it in and you will have to use two fingers or two hands but if you you have jeans then certainly another problem this is how much it will stick out there is also I forgot to mention a generous lanyard hole 
So overall, a really nice uh, smaller knife. This is what it looks like on my uh, extra large hand. I can definitely fit on my uh, my fourth finger around the butt. So it a little bit reminds me with the blade shape to the uh, to the CRKT uh, filar. A number one, as you can see right there. So. Size-wise, probably more on the Pillar 2 size, and uh, even the Pillar 2 is a little bit smaller. And the Pillar 3 ha is a little bit larger and has a uh, different blade shape, but just keep in the, in the perspective. Like I mentioned, uh, Denis Inamuti has designed a couple of knives for uh, Fox Cutlery. So, so this is the, uh, the previous knife that I got from him, this is the Seol which is a, a slip joint with that uh, China Carta or Chinese uh, My Carta, so classic uh, canvas type uh, style of My Carta. And probably or two years ago, this is the Hell Skull, how do you like to pronounce it, which is a, a neck knife with a bottle opener and it is a friction folder was my first uh, design from him. It should be available at your uh, preferred uh, knife uh, reseller. Okay, let us continue with uh, some more knives that I have here on the table. So like I mentioned, and uh, let's talk about the, the micarta. So, so this is the, what I call a uh, industry standard, uh, nothing uh, special, just your standard uh, canvas uh, micarta, which has a really similar grain structure and uh, a weave structure to it. So for around half the price, you can get the, the Atrex. If you're looking for something similar price-wise, uh, here's the 956 from Tuna Fire or Kesivo, which is an excellent uh, knife with, uh, with the same uh, micarta, but different color. Let's see, here is the mini sheepdog from Kaiser. Big lighter too. So these will have a much higher quality micarta on them. Both of them are linen. If you like the smooth, uh, smooth uh, touch of a micarta, then definitely check out these knives. Okay, here is the red model too. Spyrco Delica. Kaiser Pinch. CVV Rustic Gent. Petrified Fish 949X. With a small felt spar from CGRB. Spider Code Dragonfly. Spider Code Paramilitary 2. Here is the small Gertilian. Peanut from Rough Rider. Nine forty from Benchmade. 
and let's close it down with K by Doja Folding Hunter. Okay, so let's summarize. Uh, for around twenty-five US dollars, I, I think this is a uh, really beautiful uh, design. Uh, fits really nice in the hand. You can probably also use this as a foot prep because of the down sloping angle of the blade. So you can definitely chop up some vegetables and uh, prepare some uh, some food if you don't have uh, your a kitchen knife on you maybe when going out uh, with friends uh, you are ending up in some of their apartment and they don't have a sharp knife which is uh, usually the case then this is definitely uh, something that would help you out this is not that uh, large or threatening so uh, uh, this would be also good in a office environment with a nice uh, sheep's foot blade is non-aggressive you can also use it in emergency situations when you are need to maybe uh, cut out somebody from uh, the seat belt in a car in that situation so it is always uh, nice to have something like that with a not uh, that sharp point but definitely you can also use it for a fine cutting fine detail work so definitely the designer did uh, uh, did account for this uh, situation in uh, my uh, opinion of course okay so this was the Fox Edge 8 Rex in OD Green Micarta. Only thing that I uh, probably uh, would like to have is uh, also a brown Micarta variant because uh, that is the color that I usually collect. But yeah, it is what it is. It is a nice design and for around $25, you can definitely go no wrong with this one. Okay, with that being said, I would like to thank you for watching. If you are a subscriber, thank you very much. Big thumbs up to you. And if you are not a subscriber, then please consider subscribing to not miss any future videos. With that being said, I'd like to thank you for watching and wish you a wonderful day. Hope to see you soon. Bye.